Today I'm going to showcase to you Codename Goops. I've been playing around with this for the last week or so. Uh, I am a huge fan of it. I like what it does overall for what it does. So up front, I'm not a fan of AI agents overall. Because I don't think that they're ready for prime time. But if you do think that they're ready for prime time, you want a framework around them, you're looking for infrastructure, how to build it out, uh, an easy way to build out AI apps, AI agents, very easy way, then Codename Goose is uh, for you. And Codename Goose has a lot of things going for it. So Codename Goose is put out by Jack Dorsey, and that's what caught my attention just flat out. I'll give you my flat out reasoning for uh, why I decided to look into this. So uh, Jack Dorsey, if you don't know, creator of Twitter, et cetera, but it's recently uh, been like more and more put out into the media that uh, Jack Dorsey is Satoshi, the creator of uh, Bitcoin, which would incidentally and coincidentally funnily make Jack Dorsey the smart, the like the richest person on earth, uh, and richer than Elon Musk, which is hilarious uh, in the whole Twitter Elon Musk Jack Dorsey situation. But just like. With that aside in mind, I am a big fan of Codename Goose because so the bottom line is I've talked about this multiple times on my channel, right? That um, AI as a software, if you want to treat it as a software, as a pure software, uh, is going to be put through the same market rigor and the same like market tests as uh, all other types of software, right? And then so within that, the Magnificent Seven, these big software tech companies, they're going to operate the same exact way and utilize the exact same playbook when it comes to this software and controlling it, right? So essentially, they're going to try to insert themselves vertically into one specific end of this and, and own uh, you and your technology from the ground out. If you want to look at a perfect example of that, look at OpenAI. Host AI, right? That's exactly their business model is. So um, insert with ChatGPT, uh, and then you can't exit from ChatGPT, right? That there's no clear way. Like once you're inserted with, with ChatGPT, you're stuck. Like if a better model comes out, well, like uh, it's, it's um, you have opportunity costs built in on top of the betterness already from jump, right? And that's part of the equation that they build in and, and they bake into it. That's how that whole chain starts, right? Um, and then so easiest way from jump is, so what like framework should you be building on top of? You've got like open, at this point, you've got open AI, Google framework, uh, Anthropic, uh, uh, Nemo, like all uh, AWS, Bedrock, all different kinds of frameworks uh, that you can utilize. But so in this instance, all of those are companies, right? And then so Codename Goose is the full open source and the first full open source framework like like heavily built around this that I've seen. It's got heavy investment. I wonder why. <laughs> and, and so uh, when you go into what uh, exactly is behind the hood of Codename Goose, first of all, it's open source. Uh, it runs 100% locally, right? So uh, it's really cool to run it. I'll show it to you. Like I can't even give you Colab in this instance because you have to run it locally, right? Giving you Colab and giving you like the Colab code in this instance would be would be worthless. And so my demonstration, I very rarely like show PowerShell in this instance, right? But so I had to uh, install Linux and, and Ubuntu on my Windows computer. I'll go through all the steps that I went through to, to install and run, run Goose, but I have it running here. Uh, it's extensible. So it's essentially you pick your LLM, the framework that you want to use, and then you just build it out, right? That's the bottom line of this framework. <laughs> like, why would you use this? Uh, you need to learn this framework uh, and install it. And then once you do it, like, now that I have this installed, what app do you want to build? Like, what agent do you want built for <laughs> utilizing this framework? I'll build it out for you. Like, it's, it's very intuitive and easy to use once you set it up, right? And so there is, like, some knowledge and, and a... Um, a definite uh, understanding that needs to be um, as a baseline before you go into these things, right? Which is like, uh, like why I think like uh, all of these arguments that like uh, software developers and engineers will go away uh, in my mind is like completely overstated. Because let me walk you through like how to uh, install and set up Goose. Because that's like it's. Um, 
easy, but like you need to, a software engineer to, to install it, right? So uh, essentially, like uh, we go to for in installing and, and setting this up, uh, you can go to GitHub and then they provide very simple instructions, right? And then so they provide uh, simple instructions for getting started here. We'll just do the install, uh, install Goose. And then so if you're running Mac OS or Linux out of the box, very simple. You just run the command line and just run this curl, curl bash from like, uh, like the uh, command prompt, right? Uh, and then boom, you're good to go. Uh, but in a lot of instances, in most instances, people are running Windows. And then so in this instance, you need to, first of all, uh, install like um, what ends up being Ubuntu, right? So you install Ubuntu and then you install the Linux script and then you run through, you're going to have to restart your computer to install Linux. And then you're going to get a install of Linux on your computer once you do that, right? Um, and then so after you have all of this set up, you'll be here <laughs> where you're looking at essentially a command prompt uh, for like in a lit. So uh, this is a Windows machine and then this is running uh, like in this command prompt here, this window that we're looking at here. This is running Ubuntu and I'm running the Ubuntu command line. Uh, and then so from Ubuntu command line, I'm just going to goose configure uh, here. And that's how I, you launch this, right? And then so everything from here. So once I have goose installed, I'm to this point. This is the app <laughs> and, and like everything for the app is from here, right? Um, and then it's very straightforward to use from the command line. And so configure providers, add extension, toggle extension, remove extension, and adjust tool output. That's, those are your, your options, right? Configure providers are very straightforward. Which model provider do you want to use? So like the very first step in the very first area that companies want to implement and insert themselves is, as I mentioned up front, closed AI uses the model of let's get ChatGPT in there, right? And then if you get ChatGPT in there, then you're going to have an opportunity cost from getting off of ChatGPT. This essentially eliminates that. Uh, what's your model provider? What's your API key? Uh, whatever it is, you can swap out your model here on the back end. So right now I'm utilizing Google Gemini. And I'm utilizing Google Gemini because out of all of these guys and all of these options, Google Gemini right now is offering free access, right? And then so I build all like right now my goose is Google Gemini powered and everything that I build on this goose from this point would be Google Gemini powered. But let's say that tomorrow, all of a sudden, uh, OpenAI or Anthropic uh, all of a sudden offer the uh, free tier and Google uh, decides to be Starbucks and they raise their price, right? Then I just go to, uh, I just hit which provider do I want to use? OpenAI, I generate a new OpenAI key for that. And then boom, I, I everything, like all of my Goose app that I've built previously switches over to that. So it's that easy in terms of switching providers. In this instance, I don't want to save it to my key ring. And then which model do I want to use, right? So it's this simple model provider. It defaults in this instance to Gemini 2.0 Flash, which is the free model, which is perfect for me. So uh, I like that model. We'll go there. And then uh, from here, uh, I can, let's go back to that uh, Goose config uh, because that, that's just the configure providers, right? So add extensions, this is like, this is where the money is right here, right? So uh, from here, you've got a few different options. You've got built-in extension, command line extension, and remote extension. Built-in extension is where most of you are going to play around with and uh, where you're going to see. So like essentially what happens, so what these extensions do is, so in this instance, I've picked my LM provider up front, which is and my provide and my LM model, uh, which is Gemini Flash 2.0. And then now I'm going to give Gemini Flash 2.0 access to some tools. What kind of uh, tools do I want to give it access to? I can give it access to developer tools, a computer controller, Google Drive, memory, tutorial, or JetBrains itself. And then so within developer tools, I can give it coded editing and shell access. Within computer controllers, I can give it controllers for web scraping, file caching, and automations. A lot of people like, uh, uh, I see a lot where people are saying like, man, um, kind of open AI's AI, cool, like uh, Anthropic AI, all of these, a lot of people are noticing that these uh, APIs are flooding their websites all of a sudden. It's things like this because they're enabling agents uh, and enabling that API on the back end uh, and then uh, utilizing tools like this to do it. Just I'm, I'm outlining it. So here you go. But it's not 
just web scraping, right? Like there's more cookie jars. You can do file caching, automations, etc. cetera. Uh, and then same thing, Google Drive, right? And then so you can give it flat out access if you want to, to search, read, and search and read content from Google Drive. I wouldn't like, you need additional configuration. Like, like it would be hard to give it right access from here. The defaults are search and read, which are good. There's guardrails built in, right? Um, and then memory, so very important, gives you tools to like uh, save and retrieve durable memories across conversations, across actions, etc. Very important. And you can customize and build out all of these extensions, right? These are like, so what we're looking at here is like the on rails, all of, like this is like the out of the box, no configuration required what you get out of this, right? And then so you get a, a tutorial. Uh, tutorial extension, which is like interactive tutorials and guides. Like when you access like Goose Help um, from like this, it's essentially like generating just uh, from its own like a, a basic knowledge base. So giving it access to tutorial would definitely help. Uh, and then connecting to JetBrains for IDEs, which gives you like a, a whole another access of um, configuration. But JetBrains, you're like paying for um, in that instance, which I'm not a big fan of JetBrains. But so we're just going to exit out of this, uh, and then so we give it a controller extension, uh, and then from here we can uh, essentially like the meat of this, right? So we we've configured it, and then like how do you launch it? <laughs> Very straightforward and it's simple. Uh, we just do goose session. And then Goose is running. Enter your instructions or try asking Goose what to do. Uh, and then so we can see uh, in this instance, in, in our Ubuntu instance, in our command line, it turns into a Goose, uh, which is how we know that the Goose session is running, right? And I can, like, it's, it's um, a, how are you today? Like, uh, it's pinging Gemini 2.0, right? Uh, and that's what I want to show you. So I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How can I help you today? Um, I don't, I'm going to ask it just something flat out. I'll, I, don't, I don't know if it'll do it. Uh, can you scrape the... Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, so uh, it looks like it did it. I'm like, I like, I don't want to open this file. Like, I, I, I'm not uh, going to, but there you go. Like, so, <laughs> uh, cool. So, like, uh, I just added, I built an app uh, utilizing Gemini 2.0 and it just web scraped uh, and uh, it's that simple. <laughs> and then so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, exit, uh, which is this. Yes, so uh, closing session and then that's all good. And then it <laughs> recorded the session, uh, which is double recorded now, which is awesome. Uh, and then so uh, overall, uh, this is essentially like um, Goose in a nutshell and, and uh, running it and then running for AI agents, right? And then so like if you are like I get asked a lot like um, I want to run agents. People are big on this. Like I want agent framework, especially within my organization and my company. What should I use? Like here you go, right? This is your answer. Like use this. Build on top of this. Uh, it's not going to go away. It's built by literally the richest person in the world who has vested interest in a lot of this being like open source for a reason, right? Like this is very thought out and thought through. Uh, at the top, I mentioned like the what the bottom line is is like kind of the war within this is like this software AI as a software is going to be. Where can a company insert itself into your data? Where can they essentially disrupt your organization in order to make OpenAI more profitable than it is currently, right? <laughs> then uh, this is the main area that they're going to look towards. And then so by shielding off and having access to these and building from the ground up with these types of frameworks, that's exactly how you avoid these problems. And by just educating yourself overall and understanding that these frameworks exist, taking this one simple step, saving yourself a lot of money overall, right? Uh, I, I get free agents. Like, I don't know about you, but like, so like the bottom line, like, I mean, above anything else, like, like open source, closed source, except like, Bottom line, it comes down to the wallet, right? I, like what I just showed you, I'm not paying for. Uh, and then I get full access to whatever you can do with agents for free. And that's the bottom line within this. Uh, and then if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.